What's going on? This is Julian with the Game Fanatics, and we are back with another headset review slash overview. And this time I'm actually going to be doubling this uh, video up. So I'm gonna be showing you two headsets, but you will see why in a second. Um, so first, I'm going to start with the Turtle Beach um, Gen 2 Stealth 600 headset. There's been a few uh, modifications when it comes to the build quality and build of this headset in general. Um, so the first thing you will notice when uh, taking a look at this headset is that it's gone from micro USB to USB-C, which is great. A lot of uh, every headset that I've reviewed this year, the charging port uh, is about, is, is using USB-C. Um, then you'll see here on the side, the mic is now more integrated into the side of the headset. So when you flip it up here, um, it, it kind of, it blends in versus sticking out. And another thing that the headset does, um, cause I actually used a wired turtle bleach headset before this. So I'm not sure if this was the case with the last stealth 600 headset. Um, but when you flip the mic up that mutes the mic, that's something that a lot of headsets that I've been using also do. Um, we have another thing on here. We have this mode button that enables superhuman hearing. Uh, it's, this is a mode that kind of gives you more of a surround sound type of feel. And when gunshots or footsteps are coming from different directions, you get a better feel of where that's coming from. Um, overall, the headset, the build quality is, is pretty nice. Uh, it fits a little tight on the head, but these ear cups are really soft, so it, it lets it be known on the packaging that uh, these work well with those who wear glasses. Actually, if you see behind me, recently I've been getting headaches, so I've been using some blue light blocking glasses, and this works very well with that. Uh, these connect to the Xbox uh, console with their proprietary connection. Um, and uh, these are the some of the first headsets that I've tested out that um, will work on the next generation of consoles. So if you wanna go ahead and buy these now, I believe this one is 199. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I take that back. Uh, this one is actually $99 and you are, you are good to go. As far as the sound quality, um, with, like I said, with that mode button, um, you can cycle through a, a few preset uh, modes. The headset sounds great, and especially for a hundred bucks, you can tell why this is one of the, if not the most popular headset on the market. Um, so definitely, definitely give this a, uh, check this one out. Now, I wanna move over to the second one that has a lot of the same features of the Stealth 600. This is the Stealth 700. But, um, so I'm gonna start off by saying this one is $149.99. So with some of the features that this has, I would definitely, definitely, um, if you if you wanna upgrade to a, a better headset, definitely check this out. So just like the uh, Stealth 600, it has the USB-C charging. It has a proprietary connection to the Xbox consoles. Um, but one of the main differences that's really cool, and I'll get to this a little bit later in the video, is it's Bluetooth connectivity. Now, what that does is allow you to connect to a smartphone, and it has a proprietary app for the Turtle Beach headset that allows you to cycle through different modes and make different adjustments. I'll actually throw a video of that on the screen now so you can see what that looks like. Um, but overall, same great build quality. It actually feels a lot better on the head. Um, something that you may not notice is that the ear cups are made with like a memory foam and they have a cooling gel within here. So uh, for those long periods of time where you're playing, you don't get too hot. Um, sound is immaculate. So. Of course, with the um, with the Bluetooth connection, you can listen to music and answer calls on here. Um, 
you have the same mute uh, with the mic. And since it's more integrated into the headset now, um, you can walk around with these and not look like you're in a gaming headset while you're walking around the street. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say work out in these headphones. I'm sure you could. Um, battery life is great on both of these, uh, 20 plus hours uh, from my testing so far. We have the same volume, uh, volume and mute or mic volume uh, adjustments here on the side. And one really cool thing that I noticed uh, so while I was testing this out on the Xbox One, someone uh, actually called and I could answer my call on here, speak to them through this headset, and it lowered the volume of the person I was talking to on the Xbox. So that is really cool. And like I said, for only $50 more than the Stealth 600, this, is, this really packs some bang for your buck when it comes to upgrades. So... Uh, we'll have a full written review on thegamefanatics.com, uh, but like I said, I I really, really, really uh, suggest that you all take a look into these headsets if you're looking for a a new one to go into the next generation and that also works on your current console. So, uh, like I said, here we have the Stealth 600 and the Stealth 700, and who knows what other things that I may creep onto that I may be able to do with this 700 headset. Um, and I'll include that in the written review. So we do have more headset reviews coming in, some really cool hardware and um, stay tuned to the Game Fanatics for more of this. And I'll see you next time.